For this problem, we're told that we have a 100 liter flask that contains a mixture of methane and argon gas at 25 degrees Celsius. We know that the mass of the argon is 228 grams and that the mole fraction of methane um, in the mixture is 0 0.650. Um, and we're trying to calculate the total kinetic energy of the gas mixture. So first off, what we need to do is we want to make sure we change our temperature right off the bat into Kelvin. So 25 plus 273 is going to give us a temperature of 298 Kelvin. Um, at this point now, we want to find how many moles of argon we have. So our molar mass of argon is going to be the 22, uh, 228 grams times one mole divided by the molar mass of argon, which is 39.95, which gives us 5.71 moles of argon. Um, we can now, using our mole ratio here, we can cal go ahead and figure out how many moles of methane we have, how many moles of CH4. So 0 0.65 is going to be equal to the mole of CH4 divided by our total number of moles, which is 5.71 plus our mole of CH4. Um, and when we solve for that, when we simplify this, we're going to have 3.71 plus 0 0.65 mole CH4 equals mole CH4, or one mole CH4. And that will then simplify to 3.71 equals 0 0.35 mole CH4. And then finally, we get that our mole CH4 equals 10.6. So the total number of moles that we have is actually going to be the 10.6 moles of CH4 plus the 5.71 moles of argon, so a total mole of 16.31 moles of mixture. Now we can go ahead and use our equation, which is going to be Ke, our kinetic energy, equals 3 halves RT times the number of moles. Now what's important is in this case our R is going to be different. Our R, because we're doing kinetic energy and we need joules, is actually going to be 8.3145 joules per Kelvin mole. So when we substitute our values in, we have that our kinetic energy equals 3 halves times 8.3145 times our temperature, which we calculated is 298 Kelvin, times the number of moles, which we just solved for, which is 16.31. And so we get that we have a kinetic energy of 60,617 joules, which we can make 60.6 kilojoules.